The things hoped for, remember it's the letter to the Hebrews. The things hoped for is talking about what the Hebrews wanted to see happen through the oracles God gave them by the hands of Moses. The Hebrews wanted to see something happen. They were looking at the law that they got by the hand of Moses from God, and they were seeing certain things in that law, and they were desiring those things. And what they were desiring was that sin would be removed from them. They were looking at that law and that they got from God by the hand of Moses, and they were desiring to be cleansed from death. They were desiring to inherit eternal life. They were desiring the kingdom of God. That's what they were desiring. That's the things hoped for. These guys hoped for sin to be removed as far as the east is from the west. They hoped for the death that found an opportunity to manifest in their bodies to be cleansed from them. They were hoping to be set apart from death unto eternal life. That's what they were hoping for. And so the author of Hebrews is addressing that. The author of Hebrews is saying, well, guys, listen, Everything we were looking for from the law has been realized in Christ. All those things we were desiring from the law, it's been realized in Christ. We were wanting an incorruptible life. A life that wasn't subject to the world or the decay and the tribulation in the world. That's what we were wanting. We were desiring to be cleansed from the death that found an opportunity to manifest in our bodies by the sin of one man, Adam. We were desiring for God to be with us to be a father to us, to justify us, to defend us from the giant of death, to defend us from the persecution in the world. We were desiring that. And the author of Hebrews comes and says, all those things we were desiring, listen man, within the faith that was revealed in Jesus is the substance of everything we've ever desired for our lives. This truth that is manifested in Jesus is actually testifying to us that God hath cleansed us from death once for all time. This truth that manifested in Jesus is testifying to us that God has set our lives apart from the earth and has set our lives apart unto Him and His eternal life. The incorruptible life we long for, we've actually attained to it in this man, Jesus. That's what He's trying to tell these guys. All those things we were hoping for. Listen, man, they've all been realized in Jesus. So let us no longer look to the law or the works of the law or to the world to try to get the things that we were hoping for. Let us realize all the things we're hoping for are contained within this faith that was manifested in the man Jesus. And that applies for all of us. Guys, we're all sitting around desiring something. You may think you're desiring a car or a house or a spouse or money or a job. And listen, You might enjoy some of that stuff, right, as you walk in this world. But let me tell you what you're actually desiring. You're desiring an incorruptible life. You're desiring a life that can't be corroded or decayed by the world. You're desiring a life that's been cleansed from death once for all time, never to be able to be touched by death again. You're desiring to never feel weakness again. You're desiring to have a life that even overcomes the world. You're desiring a peace and a love and joy that doesn't come and go with the wind as it blows. That's what you're desiring. Listen, guys, within the faith that was made flesh in Jesus is the life you've always been desiring. The beautiful life you want. The things you've always desired. Listen, man, it's contained within this faith that was manifested in Jesus. Hallelujah. That's what he's saying. The life that manifested in Jesus by the power of the Father's love for him is the substance of everything we've ever wanted. 